In our last video, we looked at uh, how to calculate the surface area of a pyramid or a cone. We're going to do the same thing in this video. However, this time, one of our dimensions is missing. So I've uh, gone ahead and already written down the four things you need to find, B, P, H, and L. Uh, B is the area of the base, P is the perimeter of the base, H is the height of the pyramid or cone, and then L is the slant height. Now, um, in this figure, remember from the last video, uh, if you watched it, the height is the uh, distance inside from the vertex inside. So the height this time is 8. If you recall, too, for our formula, we didn't need to uh, actually have the height. To find, remember, the lateral surface area or eventually the total surface area, our formula is P times L, perimeter times slant height divided by 2. And then for the total surface area, we add on the base. Uh, notice that height doesn't appear anywhere in the formula, so we actually don't need that number. Um, the slant height, though, is going to be the distance along the surface from the vertex down to the base. So that's the number I need to find. Uh, and if you don't have that, you cannot find surface area. So let's figure out what to do to find that value. Well, I've kind of traced out the height. I've traced out the slant height. Let me go ahead and trace along the radius here. And what you can see is formed in that green uh, triangle. It's not just any old triangle. It's a right triangle. And so, of course, what we're going to do to find the missing side of a right triangle is we're going to do the Pythagorean theorem. So the two legs are 6 and 8. So I'm going to do 6 squared plus 8 squared and then equals the slant height squared. The slant height will always be your hypotenuse of that right triangle. Uh, you may recognize that, <clears throat> excuse me, you may recognize that as a triple, if not, or if it's not a triple, uh, go ahead and do your uh, math to work this out. So I get 100 equal to L squared. When I take a square root, uh, I find the slant height to be about 10, or to be exactly 10 meters. So that's what you'll do if you're ever missing the slant height in one of these problems. So my slant height's going to be 10. And of course, our slant height's always going to be bigger than the height, since our slant height's really the hypotenuse of a right triangle. So now that we have the height and the slant height figured out, let's go ahead and calculate the area area of the base and the perimeter of the base. So uh, my base in this figure is a circle since I'm dealing with a cone. So to find the area of the base, I'm going to do pi r squared. And let's go ahead and just get an approximate answer. So uh, getting a calculator, I'm going to do 3.14 times 6 squared. You can try that on your own or just trust me. It's about 113.04. To find the perimeter of the base, well, since it's a circle, we don't really call it perimeter. We call it circumference. Uh, that formula is 2 times pi times the radius. Uh, once again, reaching for a calculator, I come up with about 37.68 for the perimeter of the base, the circumference of that circle. Uh, and then finally, now that I have all this information, let's go ahead and find the lateral surface area and the total. I've written down the formula for lateral already. This is uh, the, the area not counting the base, so everything around the base uh, except for the base. So 37.68 is my perimeter times the slant height we calculated uh, to be 10 divided by 2. And again, uh, using a calculator to get that answer, I come up with 188.4. Remember, always include good labels, so surface area is always uh, some kind of square unit, so meters squared. So there's my lateral. To find the total, you may recall the formula was uh, P times L divided by 2, which is just your lateral surface area, and then add on the base, the base we did not include that first time. So uh, I could recalculate the entire formula, or since I already know what P times L divided by 2 is, let's just go ahead and add on the base area to what I already have for the lateral. That'll get me all the sides uh, in this figure uh, covered. So adding that together gets me a total surface area of 301.44 meters squared.